Hi everyone, welcome to TCM Time Live. That's traditional Chinese medicine with me, Kathy Young. Welcome to my 20 minute training routine for the white crane soft qigong. We're focusing on strengthening our lung health, supported by the other organs in our body, including the heart, liver on the right, spleen on the left, kidneys on the back. And we're scanning through what I call the whole organ house. We're in our seventh week out of seven weeks, the last class. So I hope you had a chance to review all the other classes. And if you've been following along, I'm really grateful. Happy you made it with me to the last class. Hope you're feeling stronger in your body. So in our previous classes, we've worked on what I call your organ house, scanning through three levels of your house. Today, we're going to focus on reviewing the key points throughout these seven weeks. And we'll learn an extra acupressure point called lung seven on the wrist, lung nine on the wrist crease. In our last class, last week, we talked about heart channel, and that's the, on the pinky side, the heart seven point called spirit gate. This is for calming your mind and for any types of anxiety. These are points that will help you with strengthening your immune system, especially for your lungs. So let's give a quick review to all our key points. Can everybody open your arms as wide as you can? Stretch open your heart, let it radiate, open as wide as the sun. And let's bring it in for a big hug. Very happy you're here. Give it a big hug and squeeze left and right. You're opening your kidneys and your lower back, clearing out any fears. Let give yourself a pat on the back. This is a hug from me to you. I'm very happy you're here. And let's give a second hug as wide as the universe. We're going to spread this joy from our heart and the joy from our whole upper body, the lungs, and we're going to shine it with the whole universe. Share the love to the world and bring it in. Shaking it out side to side and look for squeezing your liver on the right. That's related with any stress and anger. And swing it over to your spleen on the left. That's for any of your worries. Just gently squeeze and massage it out. Give yourself a pat on the back. Let's open it one last time, a big hug. This one is for you to you. Give yourself some self-love as wide as you can. Open up your heart point on the wrist crease and your lung point on the wrist crease. As wide as you can, open your wrist. Take in a deep breath. And let's bring it in for one last hug. Give yourself a pat on the back. You made it to your 20 minute training routine for today. And we're going to have a lot of fun. So let's begin. Let's all build that roof again on our house. Right roof right under your chin. And build three levels. One on your diaphragm, the lowest part of your lungs and chest. And touch your belly button for your lower level. Let's scan through the three levels of our organ house. In Chinese medicine, this is the triple burner, which contains all of your organs. Let's scan the upper body. This is the attic of our house where heat can get stuck. Fire or heat always goes upward and the attic is the hottest place of our body. This disrupts, let's put two hands on our heart. This disrupts our heart when there's too much heat. Taking two hands, give me high fives. Two hands, let's put it on our lungs. When there's too much heat, this disturbs our lungs. So anytime there's too much heat trapped in this upper body, the chest, this is the upper burner, the attic of your house, let's spread our arms like the wings of the crane. So anytime you move your arms, this circulates that attic, that heart and your lungs. And when you add in a special twist on your wrists, this helps your lung point on your thumb side and your heart point on your pinky side. So today we're gonna to look for that special twist in the white crane qigong. So we're going to add in healing sounds for the heart. You have the healing sound of the ha sound, H-A. So anytime you're happy, full of joy, you're full of laughter using the ha sound or the he sound, H-E, to cool your heart. 
This is good for making more joy in your heart. Let's take two hands on the lungs. Take in that deep breath. Good. For your lungs, this is related to sadness. So anytime lung channel starts here in the corners of the chest, when we're sad, the lung energy is sinking and de deficient. So we need to gently open up that lung channel. Again, spreading with the wings of the white crane. And with that extra special twist, every time you open under your armpit, it's like you're opening a window to that attic. Let that heat radiate out. And let's come to the middle level of our organ house. Let's build that roof again. And the three levels, diaphragm and belly button. And let's scan through the middle level. Everybody touching the middle level between your diaphragm and your belly button. Going left and right. This here is the middle burner, the middle level of our organ house. This is what I call your kitchen. Touching your stomach, this is your main chef in the center giving you a high five with your left hand. Good job, nice. And put it on your right, your left. This here is your spleen. Your stomach and spleen work together to make sure you convert your food that you eat into energy and blood. So anytime in this kitchen, what can get stagnant is when we sit too much. When we sit too much behind a computer, behind our devices, driving all the time, this can become stagnant in the kitchen and we cannot make the energy that we need. So let's give it a bend on the left. Every time in the white crane qigong when you bend, this helps to ease any worries. Stomach and spleen is related with worries. So let's gently stretch it open, lift your shoulders and your head and gently bend forward, squeezing your spleen coming to the middle, your stomach. Coming to your right, this here is the liver. So think of your liver like, like your dishwasher in the kitchen. This is helping to clean all the food that you eat. Liver and its assistant, the gallbladder, right underneath. These two organs, liver and gallbladder, are related with anger. So when you feel frustrated, things aren't going your way, and you feel impatient and irritable. This here is the liver and gallbladder. So let's open it up, stretch it open, lifting your shoulders and gently squeeze. Lift it up and squeeze. So the healing sound for the liver gallbladder is the shu sound, xu, like you're telling somebody to be quiet. So we're gonna tell our liver to be quiet. On the left is the hu sound, H-U. Like you're warming your hands in the winter. So you have the heart, the ha sound. The lung is the s sound, S-I. Like a balloon losing air. In the middle, you have your hu sound for the spleen, the shu sound for the liver. And let's go downstairs to the basement of our organ house. Let's see that roof again. And the three levels, the diaphragm and your belly button. Let's go downstairs to the basement, everything below your belly button. Let's smooth this out. This here is your intestines. Large is on the outside, large intestine, and small intestine on the inside. This helps you sort what you need and what you don't need. What you need, it sends it back up. And what you don't need, it sends it out through your bowels and your urine. So here, and then come lower to the very lowest part of your basement. This is your bladder. And take two hands, give me double high fives. Nice. And bring it to your lower back. The lower back, this here is your kidneys. Your kidneys is connected with the emotion of fear. So anytime we are stagnant, we are sitting or standing too much, this here, standing too much can weaken the kidneys. So we need to move this whole waste area. This is the whole basement of your organ house. So let's give it a few circles. We're gonna open the waste. So this relates with anything with the intestines. 
it's going to the toilet problems, or if you have any types of infection in the bladder or kidneys, let's reverse it. For your intestines, when you cannot go to the toilet, this circling and earlier the bending will help to help the energy move. So the healing sound for the kidneys is the C-H-U-I sound. Chui, 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 chui. And that's to release those fears. So here you can see there's five major organ systems that work together with your lungs. So you have the lungs for the sadness. You have your heart related with joy. You have your liver on the right related with anger and stress your spleen on the left, related with anxiety and worry, and your kidneys on the back for fear. When all of these five major organ systems are circulating, you feel good, you feel balanced in your emotions. So we're going to be practicing this 20-minute training routine to open our whole organ systems of this whole organ house. So if you're ready, give me a high five, two high fives, and bend your wrist crease. Give me two thumbs up and touch your thumb coming here to the wrist crease. This here is your lung nine point. This is called a greater abyss. This connects with your lung energy and your immune system for your lungs. So anytime you bend your wrist crease towards the thumb, this will help strengthen this point lung nine. And last week we talked about heart seven. So anytime you bend towards your pinky, that will help calm your mind. So let's try it with both sides, twisting towards the thumb at the wrist crease, twisting it towards the thumb to open up the lung immunity and energy, and releasing it, calming your mind with the pinky. I think we're ready to begin. Let's take that energy, anything you don't need, let's throw it out the window, out the door, and let's clean our energy, ready to help start our training routine. Let's shake it out. Good, nice and loose. And you're going to open your feet about as wide as your shoulders, finding a good base. We're going to begin by opening and cleaning out that basement. So let's put our hand, two fingers below the belly button. This is your energy center, the Dan Tian, D-A-N. T-I-A-N. So anytime you feel tired, your immune system's low, keep massaging this area. And if our previous classes, take your back hand, you're going to put it right across your lower back. On your lower back, this is the governing vessel. Think like a governor is straight. This is up your spine. And this here, anytime you bend your lower back, this opens up a very strong energy point to give you more energy. So we're going to begin by circling the waist, opening the back door, this life gate, anytime you circle to the back, and putting your hand on the front to connect with your energy center. So begin by circling your waist horizontally, slowly as wide as you can. Going to go 10 times in the front. Taking in deep breaths. Going all the way deep breath to your basement. Feel your knees bending. From the side view, you can see I'm bending my lower back, opening Mingman, the life gate. Every time you squat down in your knees, this strengthens your kidney, liver, and spleen channels, energy channels, going to the feet. Finishing 10 times in the front, let's turn to the right. We're going to clean the right corner of our basement. So turning our hips to the right with the toes pointed forward, circle as wide as you can.
trying to feel, stretch open your waist, anything that feels stuck or tight. And slowly finishing on your right, continue opening that lower back, that Mingmen, making it a nice round back. We're going to turn horizontally, continue in the same circle to your left, keeping toes still point forward so you have a twist all the way from ankles, knees and hips. Continue 10 times, cleaning out the left corner of your basement. Good, continue opening that lower back, Mingmen, the life gate. And slowly come back to the center. Continue with smaller circles, trying to relax your lower waist, that lower burner, the basement of your organ house. And you'll see I'm still opening Mingmen with a smaller circle. Finishing 10 times smaller circles, we're going to reverse this circle, changing directions. So if you were going clockwise, now you go counterclockwise, or vice versa. As wide as you can, opening up that basement, the intestines, cleaning it out, your kidneys and the lower back, and your bladder. These are the organs that help clean your body. wide as you can for 10 times in the front. Continue opening the Mingmen, the lower gate, between lumbar two and lumbar three in your lower back. Keeping head upright so you can connect with what we call heaven chi, the sky above. And your feet are grounded below your feet it is the ground, the earth chi. So you're learning how to connect with the universe. Slowly, let's turn to the right corner. Continue cleaning out that right corner of your basement. Nice and relaxed. Feel your lower back that lumbar two, between lumbar two and lumbar three, opening, and feel more energy circulating in your body. Slowly, let's turn to the left corner, that left corner of the basement. Stretch open your waist as wide as you can. So we're doing each repetition nine to 10 times. Nine is the number numerology linked with the lung health. And it's the feeling of ending a cycle. 10 is the number of beginning a new cycle. So feel free to choose nine or 10. A new cycle. So feel free to choose nine or 10. Coming back to the center, let's get the circle smaller and smaller. Letting your body relax all the way to your waist and your legs. From the side view, you can see I'm still opening and relaxing the Mingmen, the life gate. Small round back. Slowly finishing up nine or 10 times in the front. We're going to bring our back hand to the front, touching down our chest, tapping down till you find a first soft point below your chest. 
this here, we're going to come up to what's called your solar plexus, this first soft point when you tap down your chest. And you're going to bend from this point. But if you've just eaten, you don't want to bend too far. Just keep your head upright and just smaller movements. If you have an empty stomach, you can go bending a little deeper. Continue opening the Mingmen, rounding out your lower back for more energy for your immune system. And you'll see I'm always bending from the solar plexus, the center, the first soft point when you tap down your chest. Solar plexus has a lot of nerves, and the nerves are always connecting your body and your mind. Slowly, we're going to bend on the right side for your liver, twisting your shoulder hips to your right, and gently bending down, squeezing like squeezing a sponge, and lift up your head and shoulders to stretch it out. Continue keeping your head upright like a puppet string pulling up on your head. We're going to add the healing sound to ease all those angers and frustrations with the shu sound, XU. Let's gently tell our liver and gallbladder to gently be quiet. Inhale. Exhale with the shu sound. Continue for three more times on your own. And slowly finishing up your last one. Slowly let's go to our left. Squeezing the spleen, connect it with your pancreas. On your left side, gently squeeze, bending down, and stretch up. This whole waist area, our kitchen, was meant to be squeezed. This whole area, soft tissue, when the traditional times we did field work, chopping wood, plowing the field, for women with washing laundry. So this whole area was gently massaged naturally. Nowadays, we don't move this area as much, sitting in the car, sitting behind a computer or TV, on our devices. So now we have to gently, consciously move this area. Let's add the healing sound for the spleen, the who sound, H-U. Just like you're warming your hands in the winter time, the spleen is the earth element. It likes to be warm. Stretching up, inhale. Exhale, squeeze with the whole sound. Continue three times on your own. Very nice, and come back to the center. From the solar plexus, we're going to touch higher up to the up burner, the attic of the house, your chest. We're going to touch the chest so we can feel every time when it opens, elbows are out, and when you squeeze in the elbows, chest is gently massaged. So from the side view, you can see I'm opening the chest and gently closing it. This is very good for your lungs. Every time you open up your elbows, like a soldier 
pushing back your shoulder. This opens the lung channel in the corner of our chest. I'm letting it flow all the way to your thumb, passing your wrist crease. We're trying to ease those emotions of sadness. Gently letting the lung energy flow so the sadness has a place to flow. Slowly think of your lungs like a balloon. We're going to turn to our right, adding in the healing sound for the lungs. Think of a balloon losing air using the S sound, S-I. Open that chest and your elbows and squeeze forward. Continue on your own for three times. Continue looking for that stretch and the squeeze. Slowly turn to your left. We harmonize the liver and lungs for that anger and sadness on the right. Now we're turning to the left to harmonize any worries for the spleen and the sadness of the lungs. Continue opening up under your armpit. This opens the heart channel, like when you cheer, when you hug and you shake hands. Let's open up, aerate that attic, clearing out that heat. And continue with the S sound, S-I, to harmonize the energy in your lungs. Continue, you can see how I'm rounding out still my lower back for the Mingmen, the life gate. One more time on the left. And slowly come back to the front. We're going to drop the arms and circle them forward like the wings of the crane. Palms up. As you pass your waist, carry it forward, twisting your wrist crease, twisting your thumb and your pinky facing palm out. From the side view, you can see I'm still opening the lower back. Really look for that special twist in your wrist crease. See how I carry it under, bending it, the wrist crease, and gently release it, straightening the wrists as I circle forward. Continue for five more times in the front. We're going to focus on the heart sound, the ha sound, H-A, like you're gently laughing. Releasing any energy trapped in the heart. Slowly finishing in the front, gently turn to your right, bending the liver, squeezing the liver with the heart sound, harmonizing the anger so you can feel free in your heart to feel joy. own pace. You can breathe with the ha sound every other time. Doesn't have to be every time. (sighs) 
slowly finishing on the right, we're going to come to the left. And we're going to change the healing sound from the ha sound, H-A, to the he sound, H-E. This is to cool the heart, whereas the ha sound, H-A, wants your heart. So after the exercises, we feel a little warm. Let's use the he sound, H-E, to cool your heart. Make it as natural as possible, like when you sigh. Continue letting your wrist crease gently bend on the thumb side for the lungs, strengthening the lung nine point for your immune system and the pinky side, the heart channel to calm your mind and relax. Coming back to the center, we're going to finish up by alternating the left and right. Let's go a few times left with the twist, twisting your knees, ankle, and waist. And let's change slowly with your right side, still focusing on the circling. Hand comes to the dantian and twist, looking for that wrist crease bend. And let's gently cool down with the left and right alternating, looking for the twist in our lower body, the waist, knees, and hips, all the way to the ankles. From the side view, I continue using the chest and the mingman, the life gate. Very nice. This is something you can do every day, even if you're walking down the street. Just let your arms fill out with a gentle twist. Very nice. And let's finish aligning our palms from the chest. Gently settle your energy. Let's close by finishing on our center, the dantian, two fingers below your belly button. Let's connect our mind. Let's go five deep breaths, closing our eyes, just gently feeling and calming down the mind, feeling all the exercises. Deep breath, scanning through your attic, your kitchen, and your basement. Continue for three more breaths at your own pace. And let's go one more deep breath. On the exhale, let's open our eyes. With a gentle smile and big hug. I'm very happy you joined me for the 20 minute training routine. Good. So I'm hoping with these videos, the seven weeks, you can use either one video each week to train this white crane Qigong it's one of the best exercises I've ever experienced. So seven weeks, you can either do it for seven days in the whole week, you have a video for each week, or you can do it for seven weeks, one video each week. So I'm hoping that you'll feel all the benefits that I felt through this opening of the spine and the chest and the waist. As I said, it's one of the best exercises I ever experienced. And I'll tell you as a story to finish up, when I was in college at Boston University, I was with my two friends. We went to a health fair. This health fair, there was a chiropractic person who was having a scanner. And this machine somehow could scan when you have a blockage in your spine. And each one of my friends went first. And you can see where they had a blockage in the upper back, the shoulders. That's the attic of the house. Another of my friend had it in the kitchen level. 
this whole middle back. And when it was my turn to get scanned, I was really surprised there was no blockage. And that was the first time I ever realized that it was through this white crane, soft qigong, that I learned from my father for kung fu, for tai chi and qigong, that I feel it helped my body be healthy. So I hope for you that you'll strengthen your lungs and all your organs. Thank you very much for joining me. Till next time, this is TCM time. Keep letting your health shine. And I hope you'll join me in November and December. I have the Four Seasons Qigong for the autumn set to strengthen, again, your lung health. And that'll be on Wednesdays, same time, 11.30 a.m. to 12 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. And please check out my website. I have new courses coming up that I'm really excited about, which includes the Tai Chi Ball Qigong, also to strengthen up your lower back. This is a, one of the best ways you can strengthen your immune system. This will be combined with the Tai Chi first part. Then in the second, on, from Tuesday to Wednesday, Wednesday I'll have the yin yang symbol. This is learning how to trace the yin yang symbol to help your body be nice and round. On Thursdays will be Four Seasons Qigong, the spleen set. This is for all the seasons. And on Saturday will be the bird set of, bird set of the five animal sports Qigong. This will also strengthen your lung health, helping you using the wings to open different angles of your lungs. So please check it out. I hope you'll join me. Thank you again. And I'll say hi to everyone. Who's here? I got Joe. Hey, Joe again from California. Papa, hola, abrazos, big hug. I got, oh, Fabion. Hi, Fabion from Argentina. Super, hola. I got Chris Brown. Thanks, Chris Brown. And thanks, Ed and Chioko. Thank you, Chioko. See everybody in class. Bye. See you tonight, Teresa.